Hey, so I tried making this video a few different times and uh, I thought of a few different scenarios. 2010, 2011, 2012, Ford F-150. Um, you go to start the vehicle up for the first time during the day or maybe it sat for a little while and you go to start it up and you got a really hard brake pedal and then all of a sudden after that everything seems to work fine and it's actually power assisting you as it should. But the first time just didn't really feel right. Or maybe all the time it's kind of hard. Like normal braking is okay because you do get some vacuum assist from the engine, but it's not very much because the 3.5 liter EcoBoost engine doesn't really create a lot of vacuum. You need the secondary pump to actually assist it. Um, you know, that's a characteristic of a number of things. Uh, there's a program out for the ABS module. It just reprograms it. It doesn't really seem to fix it. Uh, pull your fuse box up in the front of it and lift the cover forward. And if you're looking at the fuse box, bottom left, there's a 25 amp fuse, I believe, and then one over is a 40 amp fuse. It's a green one. Bottom row, from the left, second one over. And it's a 40 amp fuse for the vacuum pump. Nine times out of 10, I bet you that, that fuse is blown. And <clears throat> if you take the driver's side headlight out and you pull it out of the way, and then, um, you unhook the main power connector to the vacuum pump because it's right there uh, behind the headlight and you actually test for power with the key on keep hitting the brakes a bunch of times and after so many turns or even immediately it might tell you right away like 11.7 volts 12.2 volts something like that and you're getting pretty decent power out of that uh chances are after if the fuse is good and you're getting power down there the vacuum pump is junk and you just need to put a new vacuum pump in it now there's a Ford kit that you can get for around 500 bucks that comes with new vacuum lines, it comes with new rubber bushings, it comes with everything and basically all you do is just re dismount the old vacuum pump from the old bracket, put it in but you get new lines, new check valves, new all that stuff with it. Um, the aftermarket one I checked today because the customer didn't like the price on the Ford one, uh, it was $630. So you're better off in a situation like this if you can get a deal from the OEM to go ahead and pay for it. Uh, unfortunately, on this particular truck, just reprogramming the computer and replacing that fuse is not going to fix the problem. Now I sit here and wait to see if the customer will approve me to put a vacuum pump in here. And just to go ahead and prove out the situation, I went and actually grabbed a vacuum pump off of the shelf and plugged it in and it turned right on. So I know it's the pump. 99.9% .9 of the time that pump locks up because it's a, a diaphragm that moves back and forth and you know, a lot of moisture and corrosion and stuff build up inside there and that diaphragm locks up. So that's the gist of it. Replace your vacuum pump 99.9% .9 of the time and that's going to fix your hard brake pedal issue and it won't be a concern anymore for at least a few years and then you might have to end up doing it again because it's a very poor designed vacuum pump. Thanks guys. I appreciate you. So this is for the 2011-2010 Ford F-150 EcoBoost uh, hard brake pedal. So if you look in your fuse box here and you follow your bottom row over, there's a 25 amp fuse here and you go one over. That 40 amp fuse is for your vacuum booster that sits down behind all this behind the light. And if you look, that fuse is blown. That fuse is not even uh, properly connected right there. If you see the so if that fuse is blown with it being as big as it is that means that vacuum pump is probably seized up completely and that vacuum pump and that fuse is going to have to be replaced it's that little plastic screw uh, you might have to yeah be light or sometimes your nail or a pick behind that. Should be able to just pull the rubber, I think. There you go. And then back, back down in there behind that light. And the pump is back there. So now we gotta get this light out. And I think it's just 10, 10, 10, and then two connectors in the light and it comes out.
Almost guarantee what happened is the customer knew that that vacuum pump probably didn't have to be um, reprogrammed for anything, so he went ahead and installed his own vacuum pump and diagnosed most of this himself because when the car came here, the customer actually made a comment to the service writer, I know the vacuum pump works, which that's probably why. But what he didn't know is he didn't have a wiring schematic to figure out where all the fuses are for the pump. And again, it's the second one in here. So the customer basically said that, we'll move it out of the way for a second. He said that he put his own pump in here. You see it's a newer pump. It's not the old one that was in here. But this is not the new the new pump. Because if I unplug it and I take the new one like that we, we have here at the dealership. And I set it in here on top of it. And I plug in the power source. Because I know I have a good, I got a good fuse now. Here, plug this in for me. Right there. And I come back over here to my IDS, my computer, and I turn it on. I can turn it on now. But if I plug his in, it doesn't work. So that's why you don't always trust that. So remember, guys, vacuum pump behind the light. The 40 amp fuse here is what supplies power to it. This was blown, and he put in his own pump, and he didn't know where the fuse was at. So that fuse and a vacuum pump, you should be golden whatever, uh, when you get the hard brake pedal with the 2010, 2011, 2012 Ford F-150s. Thanks, guys.